end of April. That means it's the last day of AJ's cardboard box challenge. So let's go take a peek. This is the box after 30 days. I'll put my hand down here so you can see. They're not very large and they're kind of yellow. They need to get fed. I never did give them compost tea like I was going to. This is a potato, which I'm gonna have to pull out. See the brown on it? That's not what it's supposed to look like. Here's another potato. The green leaves are beautiful. The stem's not looking so hot. And those will really need to be held up if they actually live and I let them stay in here. And the other potato is, is right here. It is gone. It's gone. By reading the back of the packet, those little radishes should be ready to eat. However, I can't blame the radishes. Our weather is still not growing weather yet. It's still too cool for things to really do a whole lot. They can sit there and grow a little bit, but they're growing really slowly. So I'm sure by the end of next month, we'll have already eaten them. So as you remember, my cardboard box says multiply. Let's take a peek at them. First thing notice I never did weed eat around here. And I'm shocked that the slugs did not come out and devour everything. The transplants are looking lovely. They are also a little light in color. They will need a drink of some good compost tea weekly, but not, not looking too shabby. It was really fun to grow in a medium that I have not grown any plants in before. It's actually a pretty handy substitute if you have soil or beds that are not quite ready yet, just to pop them in a box. I actually really like that idea. So anyways, thanks AJ, it was fun.